Hello, my name is Fox and you're watching Den of Fools. Let's jump right in. In the first week of 2024, we had 89 tournaments, with a total of 1,796 players and 6,495 games played. We see a return to the usual amount of tournaments after the festive period. This week, the Space Marines topped the charts with 14 wins and 43 top 3 placings. Their weighted placing is 24.9, which is similar to what they usually get. The Necrons are back in second with 30 wins, 39 top 3 placings, and a weighted placing of 13.2, the third best overall. They have a very good week, considering they are only one win and four top 3 placings behind the Space Marines, who have far more players. They are loving their new rules at the moment. It'll be interesting to see if they get any adjustments in the next balance update, as there isn't a huge amount of data with the new codex. GW did not give the exact time of the date slate, only that it would be coming this month. If they wait towards the end of January, they may well have enough data to make changes to the Necrons, especially as we have some big tournaments coming up, like the Las Vegas Open. The Orcs also have a very good week, with 9 wins and a weighted place of 10.7, the best overall. To emphasise their great performance, alongside the Necrons they have the most large tournament wins with 6. The Aldara are the last faction in blue, with 7 wins and a weighted place of 14.9. They have stabilised around this level, with many similar performances over the last month or so. The Death Guard topped the green group with 5 wins and a weighted space of 15.2. This is a great result for them, with the best performance from the Chaos Factions. Chaos Space Marines are close behind with 4 wins, 23 top 3 placings, but a much higher weighted placing of 28.8. They have dropped back a bit from their usual number of wins, although they did have a very enjoyable festive period, when not many tournaments were played. The Tyranids come next, also getting 4 wins, with 14 top 3 placings, and a slightly better weighted placing of 25. This is a relatively good week for them, although they are the only faction in green who didn't win one of the larger tournaments. All of the remaining factions in green get 4 wins, being ranked by the number of top 3 placings. The World Eaters have the most top 3s with 9, but they also have the highest weighted placing with 23.8. The Sisters got one less top 3, but a much better weighted placing of 16. They have had multiple weeks with a good weighted placing. They are definitely one of the stronger of the mid-table factions at the moment. Chaos Demons are the last faction in green, with a weighted place of 11.8, the second best overall. This is a surprisingly good result for them, considering they have been struggling since the last balance update. The majority of factions are in yellow this week, with the Custodes, Tau, Imperial Guard and Grey Knights all getting free wins. They have weighted place of 17, 25, 29 and 14 respectively, with the Custodes topping the group courtesy of their 11 top threes and a better weighted placing than the Tau. Votan and Thousand Sons get two wins, with the rest of the factions in yellow getting a single win. The Admech are still struggling to win tournaments, with only a single win this week. As with the Necrons, we will have to wait and see if they get any changes in the next balance update. 24 factions manage at least one top 10 placing, with the Space Marines getting the most top 10s with 147. The Necrons are in second with 90 top 10 placings, which is over half the number of players they had this week. Chaos Space Marines are in third, on 54 top 10 placings. Unsurprisingly, the Space Marines are the most played faction with 19.38% of all players taking them. Necrons are the second most popular faction on 9.52%, followed by Chaos Space Marines in third on 6.4%. We see a familiar trend, with these factions getting the most top 10 placings in the same order as their popularity. It takes our resident stats guru and Ultramarine fanboy Fearless Fox many hours to collect all the data. It would be great if you could show your appreciation by liking and sharing the video. It really helps us with the god algorithm of YouTube. We have grouped the win rates by colour, with the key at the bottom of the screen. This week the Necrons topped the charts with a win rate of 56.2%. They get the best win rate again after the second full week of data with their new codex. They have been between 55 and 57% since their codex started seeing play across tournaments. It will be interesting to see if they go any higher, but I would imagine they will stay around this level until the next balance update at least. The Eldari are still just above the Goldilocks zone, with a win rate of 55.5%. It really is quite impressive they've remained around this win rate for such a prolonged period of time. I suspect GW will nerf them quite hard, considering they have easily got the best results in 10th so far. The Lisa vote 10 are just in the Goldilocks zone, with a win rate of 54.9%. The next balance update is nearly upon us, so I think it is safe to say they are the most improved faction after the last changes. The World Eaters come next with a win rate of 52.5%, followed by Chaos Space Marines with a 51.9% win rate. These factions have been consistently getting a winner at above 50%, although Chaos Space Marines have dropped back a little this week. Custodies and Demons have a very good result, both getting a 50.9% win rate. These factions have consistently been below the Goldilocks zone, so it is good to see them perform a lot better this week. Chaos Knights and Sisters come next, both getting a 50.5% win rate. K 
Chaos Knights in particular will miss the 60 plus percent win rate they got last week, however it was expected they would drop back to their usual level. The Orcs are the last full faction in green, and only managing a win rate of 50.4 percent, despite having the best weighted placing this week. The Thousand Suns topped the yellow group with 49.4 percent, followed by Adeptus Mechanicus on 48.6 percent. This is a stark improvement for the Admech, who have been bottom of the pack with a win rate well below 40 percent since their codex released. Admet players have kindly told us in the comments that unfortunately the rules for the codex are not that great, with some thinking the index was actually stronger. This result suggests that competitive players are starting to get some success, but considering they have performed very badly in the first few weeks, it may be a case of one or two stronger lists being found. The Tyranids are close behind with a win rate of 48.4%, with Gene Steel Cults and Death Guard, both on 48.2%. The Space Marines are the last faction in the Goldilocks zone, with a win rate of 45.3%. The Tau just drop out of the zone, with Guard rounding out the yellow group. We do see three full factors in the red group this week, with the Grey Knights topping the group with a win rate of 39.9%. Imperial Knights and Drukari get a win rate of 38.7% and 37.9% respectively. The Eldari top the Leviathan Part 2 win rates with 57.8%. Chaos Base Marines in second place, with a win rate of 53.8%. The Lisa Votan are in third place, but they are very close to second, with a win rate of 53.6%. If both factions have a similar performance next week, I'd expect the Votan to take second on the Leviathan Part 2 rankings. The World Eaters remain in fourth with a win rate of 52.3%, followed by Orcs on 51.4%. Chaos Knights are the last full faction in green, with a win rate of 51%. The Tower at the top of the yellow group, with a win rate of 49.3%, followed closely by Sisters and Death Guard. Genius Dealers and Admech both get a win rate of 48%, the Admech in particular have managed to stop their free fall down the rankings with a much better win rate this week. The Necrons are quickly going up the rankings with another big increase in their Leviathan win rate. They have managed to overtake the Space Marines and Tyranids, who both have a win rate of 46.5%. After their good week, Chaos Demons remain in the Goldilocks zone with a win rate of 45.8%. We see the same factions below the Goldilocks zone, with Ashton Militarum on a win rate of 44.1%. Custodians and Drukari are at the bottom, with a win rate of 43.9% and 43.1% respectively. As the two chapters ahead only have a single player, this week the Raven Guard topped the charts with a win rate of 57.1%, although they only had four players themselves. The third most popular chapter, the Black Templars, are perhaps the real winners, with a win rate of 55.3%, another good result for them. The second most popular chapter, the Ultramarines, have a very good week for them, with a win rate of 52.2%. The Salamanders top the yellow group with a win rate of 48.9%. The Space Wolves are the first chapter below the Goldilocks zone with a win rate of 44.1%. The most popular chapter, the Dark Angels, come next with a win rate of 42.1%. The Iron Hands are the last chapter in yellow with a 40.7% win rate. We see a lot of chapters in red this week with the Blood Angels still topping the group with a win rate of 38%. As usual, they have far more players than the other factions in red, suggesting they are struggling the most at the moment. The Death Watch have seen a sharp decrease in their win rate, only managing a win rate of 31.9%. The other founding chapters of the White Scars and Imperial Fist get a win rate of 23.5% and 23.3% respectively. The second most popular chapter, the Black Templars, top of the Leviathan Part 2 win rates with 53.4%. The Space Wolves just remain in green with a 50% win rate. The Death Watch top the yellow group with a win rate of 46.1%. The most popular chapter, the Dark Angels have a win rate of 45.9%, followed by the Salamanders on 45.2%. The Iron Hands are the last chapter in the Goldilocks zone, with a win rate of 45.1%. The Blood Angels run a 44.5% win rate, although they are dropping down after repeated poor weeks. Fearless's favourite Blue Boys and the third most popular chapter, the Ultramarines run a win rate of 43.6%. The Imperial Fists have a win rate of 42%, with the Raven Guard on 41.3%, and the White Scars on a 32.7% win rate. This week, the majority of the Chaos Space Marine Warbands are unknown, so we go straight into Leviathan so far. The Red Corsairs top the win rates with 59.6%, with the Word Bearers on a 54.4% win rate. The most popular Warband, the Black Legion and the Alpha Legion, get a win rate of 52.2%, followed by the Night Lords, who get a win rate of 51.7%. The Iron Warriors get a win rate of 48.3%, with the Emperor's Children at the bottom, with a 47.5% win rate. If you enjoyed our content, please subscribe, check out one of the videos on screen, and consider using our affiliate links in the description. Thank you for watching.